Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going thrifting. I've been a few times since the stores have reopened. I haven't done any big trips or anything, just a store here and there. But today I plan on hitting up quite a few stores and hopefully finding some treasure and getting some stuff that we can sell online to make some money. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I find today. Hopefully we do find some good stuff and show you the clips from, you know, the past two weeks since the thrift stores have started to open up here in Cincinnati. So with that being said, let's hop right into the video. Here we go. Guys, we just cleaned up in that shoe section. Look at all this. We got several pairs of shoes. I'm gonna go through them with you in a second, but some of these I'm not 100% sure on yet. I'm gonna have to do research, but there are some very good stuff in here. All right, so the first pair right here is this pair of No Bull shoes. They are the red and black checker pattern. Great brand to look for. They sell relatively quickly. I don't know what the specific pair will sell for, but used ones go anywhere between 30 and a hundred dollars so this one will fall in between there somewhere i just got to do a little research and see where it is next we have this pair of adidas high tops they are the ones with the big tray foil on the tongue i don't think this is a vintage pair i think it's a remake but it's a pretty cool shoe nonetheless and it should sell well all right next i got a pair of ultra solstice shoes if you don't know ultra it's a good brand to look for they do a lot of like trail running shoes and stuff but solstice is a good brand or a good model of them and this one should go between 50 and 60 bucks here's a pretty cool find this is a pair of jordan ones and they are in a pretty cool colorway i don't know what this one's called off the top of my head they're in a little bit rough condition uh they could be definitely better but i'll clean it up clean all the scuffs off and stuff and these jordan ones i think should sell at least 60 maybe higher maybe around 100 if i can clean them up really well but minimum 60 bucks out of those all right next we actually have two pairs here of the same brand shoes these are sas if you don't know them they are like a comfort shoe and they sell pretty frequently and at a decent price i'm going to be paying eight bucks a piece on them and each of these should go between 30 and 45 dollars a piece so awesome score Right there, these are pretty much like a bread and butter brand. I find these pretty often. All right, now for the pairs of shoes that I am not 100% sure on. I have to make sure and do my research to authenticate them, but this pair I picked up just because they looked so crazy, and I looked up comps on that name brand, and there are some crazy comps out there. They are Valentino Garavani's, I believe how you say that. And it looks like this shoe was the Hero Tribal shoe. And it does have a serial number here on the inside. You guys can see down in there. I don't know if you can see that. It does have a serial number in there. So from the first glance, they look legit. I'm definitely going to pick them up and do some research on them. But that could be a very, very good find. All right, and here's the second pair that I'm definitely going to need to check out. These are Christian Louboutin Red Bottom Pump Heels. You can see right there christian louboutin size 39 made in italy these are heavily faked this brand is so i'm definitely going to need to do my research on them but from first glance like the sequence on them and everything feels like it's done well the quality feels pretty good but i'm not an expert in designer shoes at all and i found some fake louboutins at the same store before so i'm a little skeptical on them it does look like there's a little bit of damage right there Definitely gonna get them, but I'm gonna need to check these out because again, these could be an awesome score if they are legit. 
All right, so after doing a little more research on them, I'm pretty confident that these ones are fake, and I'll tell you why. So on this one, I don't know how well you can see it on my phone, but there's a black outline along the red, and on these, there's not really a black outline. It's kind of there, but it's more of a gray. And then as I pointed out before, there's like that undercut right here where the bedazzling the sequence goes down in under the heel. And on these, that's just not the case. It looks really refined and well done. And then down here along where the hem is right there you can see there's a big space to where it's not even all the way around so i don't think that the quality is quite there i think these are fake because these ones look like they're much better quality that i found online so i'm gonna go ahead and put these back yo check out how big this bugs bunny plush is this thing is massive let me stand them up look at that that's like three three and a half feet tall maybe with the ears a little little larger four foot tall that thing is crazy i just i this is probably worth something i just don't know how to sell it 1971 too that's old for a plush this big i just don't know how i would ship that thing that thing's massive all right we're looking through the electronics here in the back and i came across this it says marcel and the model number on it was mar 500 and when i typed it in and looked up comps it looks like they're going for a decent amount brand new like 230 150 for that one but it's not the same one like 278 bucks is the lowest one for brand new this one's parts only for 80. so i'm thinking i can do decent on this but when i went to the sold comps there are none that are actually sold but might just take the chance on this guy i just found a jersey this is a nike ohio state dry fit jersey you can see down here it's size medium it's in pretty good condition i'm gonna pick these up ohio state sells really well for me so i'm gonna snag this at five dollars all right i thought we found something good here this is a nike fc barcelona jersey unfortunately it is a bootleg as you can see that nike swoosh looks a little sus right there it's got the small nike up top that's supposed to go all the way across the embroidery on this guy is just way too thick and it feels really really thick which you can just tell it wasn't supposed to be on the jersey and the patch on the sleeve is way too small for what's supposed to be then if we flip it over you can see the text up top is crooked it's like at a diagonal slant it's not centered so it's a fake jersey unfortunately that would have been a good one though Okay, two more t-shirts here. They're both Affliction, as you can see right there and right there. Affliction is a good brand to look for. They are also a larger size, which is going to help them sell pretty well. And each of these should go right around 20 bucks, and I am paying $4 for them. Okay, going down the jean section, just found a pair of 7 for All Mankind Dojo jeans. That is a good model to look for for 7 All Mankinds. And these, I believe, are going now between 30 and 40 bucks. They've been going down a little bit. They were worth a little bit more, like in the $50 range about a year ago. But they will still sell. We are going to be paying $7.49, I believe. Yep. So that is a grab. All right, we got another pair of pants here. This is a pair of Trip NYC. If you don't know Trip, it's a good brand to look for. And the ones that you want to look for are the ones that have these zippers and chains on them. They do make it worth more money. And they are definitely a desirable pair of these ones. So I'm going to grab these. I should be able to get around 40, maybe 50 bucks out of them. We just found this pair of Vince jeans. Pretty good brand to look for. Almost all their stuff has value from the shirts on down. This is a pair of jeans. Going to be paying $7.49. And I should be able to pull around 30 bucks out of them. Not too shabby. All right, just found these hanging on the end tag. It looks like someone put them back. These are Hugo Boss Starfish swim trunks, and they are brand new, $4. We're gonna grab them. It looks like they're going for right around 30 bucks. All right, I just found a bunch more of those Hugo Boss swim trunks, and they're all brand new. So I'm gonna grab them all. All right, so I just left that Goodwill and that was actually pretty crazy. We got those incredible shoe finds and you know, a few pieces of clothing here and there. But then as I was leaving, I noticed on the back wall, there were a bunch of those Hugo Boss brand new with tag swimsuits for four bucks a piece. So I checked out the first order, which cost me $85.69. 
and I took it out to my car, came back in to check out their swimsuits to make sure they all were brand new with tags, and they were. And then I ended up picking up another 30 of them, I believe. Yeah, 30 of them at $115 after my military discount. I'm going to make some very, very good money on those swimsuits. That was a great find, and we're getting into summer now, so that stuff's gonna be selling really, really well. And I looked up some of the comps on individual models of those swimsuits, and it looks like some of them are going anywhere between like $35 on the low end and like $65 on the high end per suit, which is awesome. That is a great flip, and we found them in bulk, so I'm on a lot of those listings, I'm only gonna to have to make one listing and then just make it so there's a bunch of different sizes in that single listing, so I'm not having to re-list re each suit individually, which is super nice. Love finds like that, that's awesome. I think I'm not even gonna hit up another thrift store today. All right, and that's gonna wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment if you saw anything that you thought was either really cool or if you learned something, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Keep on treasure hunting. Peace.